Hello guys, good afternoon guys, welcome to our blog. Okay guys, uh, I just started a new project. This is a very simple project. And I am showing you how I do it. So, basically, uh, I already created, uh, this is um, uh, a web application. So, I already created here. Uh, the project is Binter Bindor Code in India. So, this is a simple project. So, I will just show you the requirements. So this is a, the very simple requirements. So we need to upload an Excel file and we just search the base, uh, search base price. Okay, so that's that's the main goal. And this is the Excel file that we're getting to upload. And after that, we will query to get the base price. So we're creating uh, all these fields we are going to create this are uh, in our database so we need to uh i'm using integer framework core so integer framework core and code first approach so that's what i'm doing right now so basically guys i have started i created a domain so i have uh, created this vendor code db context so from the vendor code db context uh before we can we need to inherit the uh, DB context of integer framework core. So that's why we need to install, let's say, if DB context not available yet. So first, we are going to install uh, the dependency, guys. So the packages should be, all right, uh, Microsoft integer framework core that's called server is already here. So we just go to our tools, or you can just browse it. So I prefer the console of uh, this one. Okay, so this is the package manager. So install package Microsoft Entity Framework for design. I need to install this also. And the other thing that I need to install, ah, excuse me, to install is uh, SQL Server is there already. I need to install also the tools so we can uh, use the command for migration so if you don't specify the version you just omit the version but this part i am using .NET core 3.1 so i need to specify the version that it will complement with the framework uh, version All right so i i i would like to use .NET 6 or .NET 7 this is very simple application and since an our web server it's already configured to run with .NET Core 3.1, so I just use .NET Core 3.1 for now. So I don't have to configure our web server because this is just a very simple project and the timeline is just for two days. All right, so <laughs> that's that's pretty enough. All right, so actually I, I said uh, for this, but I need to finish it to this because uh, maybe I can have a unit testing code or testing, yeah. Uh, I have to this as uh, uh, what we call that uh, my free time. Uh, I don't know the term, but something that you are giving your extra extra timeline for something that an hour an hour problem. So that should be all right. So I already installed the tools. It's already here. Okay, we have already the uh, designs for server. And the entity framework itself, I just have to install the entity framework for all right. So it was already writing access file to this again up in here. Ah, it's already installed, so it's already installed part of this SQL server uh, be. Microsoft Entity Framework for Talk Pocket Microsoft Entity Framework for should install this. Yeah, because if I will not install that, let's see if it's already available, DB context. So we are going to inherit the DB context. So this should be in the Microsoft Entity Framework. So it's already here. So it's using now 
Microsoft Entity Framework Pro. So if you see this DB context is an instant representation of database. <coughs> so this is an object relation mapper or <laughs> database that <coughs> that will connect you from your project code, uh, C sharp uh, code to connect to your SQL server. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is to define the connection. So that is why I, I created your connection. Uh, vendor code DB context, uh, I mean the DB context. So that is our way to uh, bridge to our SQL server. All right, so I have to create a sitor here or constructor. So we will be passing the DB context option. DB context option, yeah, this one, this DB context option, uh, and you have to pass the what class you are going to use. So first, this is the vendor because DB context. All right, and we just have a variable here, option. So this is option, this is how to connect what, uh, what database you are going to do. So uh, I will just see option that, and we are going to connect also the this option. This is the iterative framework for. All right, so we already have that. All right, so now we have to create our model. So first, we have to have our property here, the visit. The visit like that. Uh, this will be the table name. So uh, I have not created in my model yet. So we we'll go to the models. I have to create here a class or a property entity. So I uh, would uh, name it based on this fields. Anyway, I not sure yet. Uh, uh, definition for this. All right, so I will just name it as All right, so I have a class vendor This is for the entities Of course, I will have my primary key which is integer of ID and I will define here the fields uh, source, this is type of string, uh, yeah, source, I just copying on one the Excel column, so uh, that will be my table, prop, uh, table columns as well, so I would have a string of Uh, yeah, because this is already a class of vendor. So, what should I name here? Because it's a vendor. So maybe I will rename this vendor class to vendor code. Alright, so that is and then I would have oh. destination I would have a string oh no this is not a string because this is the price uh, I think this is whole price, so maybe I just have to put this as decimal for now, for double or as long as this is, this is data is, I don't know if this is okay. <laughs> well, anyway, this is the column in our Excel, so I just have to upload the Excel files to the database so I can, I, I can search and display the top to base price, that is only the requirement. 
So that's it. If unclear here, then we just to release it for each seven. So this column is about, uh, I think this is the, the price of the window of the, I don't know exactly what's the purpose of that, I'm just following 14 feet. But in the Excel counter for counter, so I think this is so I cannot counter this is name of a career. It's for 10 feet. I just have the name like that. Yeah. And then this is LPT, 17 feet. Twenty feet. What is this twenty feet? I have to put this as 20. I don't know exactly what it's, this feels. Um, now, what's the other source destination? What's the other criteria here that I don't I need? So maybe I can just add it later on. But I think we need to store also the user. And, because this is Windows authentication. The user and uh, just have the username here, so it will be specified by it. So this is auto property, guys. This is new in the latest version where you can set the value and get the value of the property so next uh we need to i think we need to apply uh, apply uh, what we called let me take a look of my previous uh, annotation for example uh, let me for example this one like this annotation is the specify the length so we use annotation here so source with length of 50 uh, it's raining again vendor description in varkar 50 it will be like that so decimal uh, we don't need it so i think this is already okay so we just remove here the and use name face and then after that uh, we can go back to our uh, here and there will be we aside the DB set which is vendor like that or what happened here. will be the table name vendor quotes it will be polarized right nice guy so we have already set our data set that will be our table name once we issue the migration all right so now we are going to connect it to our how do we go into connect that to our database okay so this is one and let's go to our uh, sorry 
to the start of classes here in our with API. Ah, no. It's, no, this one. This is the program that says and the startup says this year. So we need to add the DB context here on figure in the services. So the configure services here. The services here before this. And add controller services. So we need to add the services that add Services that add DB context, we have two option here, DB context full and just the different. Just start the giving context as a service, uh, uh, just use the DB connection as for and then our DB context name is vendor code. Vendor that is how you are going to register it from your program that says services services this is now and you have to pass the option option variable would use since we are using SQL server so we use SQL server server use SQL server duration you can access your connection string we will create it later Example is the connection vendor code for like that. That is how you are going to connect to the SQL server. But then this is not going here. And because it does not define a USD SQL server and no access to the naked system first and then the configuration will be found. that we found. Training here. Okay, hey guys, I stopped the video because it's training here. Maybe you cannot hear me, but if you can see here, I'm just creating the connection string. This is the connection string of my local, and then I don't know why it's training here. This one I use is already in SQL Server, so for you to use to have this SQL Server, you need to install the in this part, if you didn't see here, we install this packet installs so that you can have that. You can use the in the three framework. This one, the three framework. Part. And we are now passing our window code here. It's raining, so I hope that you will just follow on the, how I wrote the code. So if you try to build this. 
because we're working now. And then have to issue the migration command. So update to create the Apple database. So we will use the domain because this is where our baby context is. So we just have to issue add migration. Let's say this is in it, baby. And by the way, in our uh, connection stream, uh, uh, just copy this. So I will change this to another database. So I will name it window code. So this will be the vendor, the database that will be created. So I go here. This constraint is not this is a wrong one. So you should be up uh, Then inside this, put this inside in the connection string, simply like that. So after that, to do it again. So now this will be the table will be created. So actually we just have one table. So for that to be able to actually create a database, you have to update issue the command update database. This goes uh, so now you can see that we have our migration here. This is the migration. And if you open to the database server, Here, this is my local SQL server for now, so I should have the vendor code and the, the table. We just have one table for now, which is this one. And these are the filters we define. Panarchy ID, and then this is the one, and this is the migration that we have. Okay, so our vendor code table now has no data yet, so we once we upload the Excel file, so it will be saved in this table. So that's basically what we are trying to do, guys. So it's very simple, but at least you know the process of what you are going to do. Alright, so we are able to connect to the database. We are able to create the vendor for the context. And it's a model. All right, guys. So since it's raining, thanks for watching for this video, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. So in the next video that I will continue this, you can watch it until the end. Okay, bye bye. Happy learning for now. Keep safe, everyone.